darkness, keep the light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, you are way made, miracle work, promise, keep the light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, even when I don't see in your work, even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Bro, 
Ford and her sons had died, Vikram tried to join the Agastini nuns in Kasha and successful at first because she was a widow, Aritha even very superior. Over the years, her austerity, faithfulness, and charity become legendary. When she developed wounds on her forehead, people quickly associated them with the wounds from Christ's crown at Rome, of thorns. She meditated frequently on Christ's passion. Her care for the sick nuns was especially loving. She also counseled lay people whom who came to her monastery. to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May our mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to your lasting life. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the wisdom and strength of the cross, with which you were pleased to endorse St. Rita, so that, suffering in every tribulation with Christ, we may participate ever more deeply in the Paschal mystery, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But when Galileo was pro-council of Achaia, the Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, this man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply to Galileo, he spoke to the Jews. If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of the Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrines and titles and your own law, see to it yourself. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sosthenes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was of concern to Gabriel. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria together with Priscilla and Aquila. At St. Finches, he shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The response to our song, Alleluia. Alleluia. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. Alleluia. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. Alleluia. God mounts the throne amid shouts of joy. The Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King. Sing praise. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. God had to suffer and to rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your deep grief becomes joy. When a woman is in, a, when a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has come. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, we know that fear has a negative power in our lives. We know that fear keeps us from being ambassadors of Christ. Fear keeps us away from relationships. Fear often keeps us from speaking the truth in the face of injustice. We are often silent in the face of fear, fearful that we are not smart enough, good enough, or knowledgeable, knowledgeable enough. We also fear that the truth we offer will be too much for, for others to bear. In today's first reading, St. Paul too struggles with this fear, yet he does not give in to it. Rather, he pays attention to the truth he receives from God. He finds the courage to continue to speak the truth he has come to know. Through his preaching, St. Paul gives birth to the truth of God in his word. We do bear the truth into, into the world. Jesus does not promise us that, uh, he, that this will be easy. In fact, he recognizes that Grief and anguish are part of this Christian story. The truth we tell includes the passion and death of Jesus, but it also includes the joy of resurrection and salvation. Therefore, we must not give in to our fears. Rather, like St. Paul, let us find the courage to speak the truth in our life, the courage that comes from God. silence and space before our Lord our petitions. In this holy mass especially we remember June Darda. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We offer this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless now you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread, the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless now you, Lord of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray for 
introduce analysis phase that might sacrifice any words may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant me, pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. I call thanks to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, O Lord, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of life arise to eternal life, and the hearts of a heavenly kingdom are thrown open over to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with pastel joy, Every land, every people, exalt you, exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the amazing King of your glory as they are praying. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are the holy of Lord. Fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Before the Lamb of God, before him who takes away the sins of the world, bless thou those words to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I deserve to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let's pray. Renewed, O oh Lord, and the wellsprings of salvation, we humbly entreat you that through the intercession of Saint Luisa, holding more closely day by day to Christ, 
They may merit to be quiet since this kingdom of grace, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The masses and the going peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Amen. 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 The promises of Christ. Shake out of the mother, 